hey, <laughs> good morning. So I have a lot of cassette tapes from back in the day. And I was going through this big box of them. Most of them were recorded uh, off the radio years ago, like we're talking 80s and 90s, when, when you could even like find a device to play a cassette tape on. Uh, and I don't have one <clears throat> at this point. But some of them I really, I want to hear and I want to digitize. And so I bought the little gizmo that you, that you plug into your laptop and, and you can digitize these recordings. And some of them <clears throat> are, you know, emotionally significant. And, and one of those that I, that I ran across yesterday was a recording of a, a Hearts of Space episode back in probably 1989 or 1990 uh, when I first started listening to electronic space music. And as you know, I looked at that tape, I remembered that when the boys and I were <clears throat> driving away leaving Wisconsin behind forever, that that's the tape we were listening to in the truck. Leaving Ur, Ur of the Chaldees, as Genesis 15 calls it. In Genesis, God comes to a dude named Abram and tells him if he would be willing to take a risk <clears throat> and just leave everything behind, leave his homeland, leave his extended family, uh, leave the comfort and the predictability and the security <clears throat> of everything that he knew to that point, that God would give him amazing blessings. And that in fact, Abram's descendants would become as numerous as the stars in the sky. <clears throat> and God says to Abram, <clears throat> don't be afraid, because I am your shield. I am your great reward. Not by coincidence, that little scriptural story is what the boys and I read our last night in Wisconsin. We read that story. We talked about taking a risk and stepping into a future that was completely unknown. Unknown. I felt at, this, at that time that I was meant to come to Indiana. I didn't know why, but I felt that that, you know, that leaving a really good job and really good income <clears throat> um, was what I was called to do, that, that there was something else waiting for me in Indiana. Abram got this, got this inspiration from God when he was 75 years old. I can't imagine doing it at that age. I was only in my early 30s. <clears throat> Abram left everything behind. Abram was a pretty wealthy guy. He left all of that behind. And as it turned out, <clears throat> his material wealth only continued to amass <laughs> to, to his credit. That was part of the blessing once he got to where he was going. And originally, I, I probably thought that I would have that same blessing, that, that somehow something amazing would happen and I, would, I too would make you know, even more money <laughs> than I did uh, before. <clears throat> that was not to be. 
damn it. <laughs> that, that did not work out. But, but I learned over the last 20 years or so that there's a lot of other blessings besides financial blessings, things that money can never buy. Abram has his name changed by God. My name didn't change, but my understanding of myself was to really undergo some serious evolutionary transformation. Genesis never tells us, by the way, <clears throat> how Abram felt about any of this. But I know how I felt. I know how my boys felt because we straight up cried in the truck leaving. Each of us have been born in Wisconsin, raised there. <clears throat> they have water there. Yeah, seriously, like blue water. They have hills, not like this part of the world that I have found myself in for the last 20 some years. So it was really, it was emotional leaving and it was, it was bittersweet. And if I had known everything that was going to happen, to be honest, I don't know if I would have left. I don't know. Because there have been some significant losses. A marriage. A house fire. Almost a year to the day that we moved to South Bend. And then having to work three jobs just to make ends meet, just to be able to replace the things that insurance wasn't going to cover and they didn't settle for a year and a half. I didn't know that <clears throat> I would also eventually lose two of my three sons. That I would be betrayed by someone who had a lot more interest in his sex addiction than in honoring his vows to hold on to me in sickness and in health. In other words, this has not been an easy ride. And despite the challenges of all of that, including the whole addiction shit show, <clears throat> I think I've always had a blessing from God because I've always been able to kind of take a step back and see that this life really is about a choice. And I've always seen that. I can't choose my circumstances, but I can choose how I react to them. I can always choose joy even in the depths of despair. I can choose to wait in the silence. I can choose to be as patient as I can be and wait for another opportunity to evolve, to reinvent, to pick myself up. Just like Abram, I have that same freedom. We all do. We get to choose how we're going to walk through this life. Does shit happen to us that is heartbreaking and soul crushing? Yes. Yes. There's no avoiding that. So we can we have a choice. We can walk through this life pissed off and bitter and, you know, resentful and reluctantly griping all the way about how unfair this life is because it is. Or, or we can choose to walk through this life as joyfully, as hopefully, as trustingly, as we can. Is that easy? Hmm, sometimes.
Do I still get discouraged and disappointed? Hell to the yeah. Still happens. But even then, I have to say, through no, you know, no grace of, of my own doing, I'm still able to take some satisfaction in just doing the little right thing that's right in front of me. I think that's the only way forward. And for me, I can't go into that, that style of looking at the universe as a victim, as a bitter guy. I know people like that. That doesn't help anybody. So the message, I think, in this little reflection today is simply we are all called to leave the familiar. We're called to leave Ur of the Chaldees. We don't have a damn clue about what lies ahead. And it's okay. It's okay because we have the God of Abram reminding us, hey, don't be afraid. I am your shield. I am your great reward. I am the one power and the one presence in the universe, and I am within you, even when you don't realize it. Let's pray. Gracious, healing, inviting God. We come into your presence today in gratitude for all the times you have carried us through the dark night, for all the times you have dried our tears, helped us deal with our anxiety and doubt, and always, consistently, have brought us to the dawn of a new day. Help us today to really examine how we are walking through this world. Help us to release bitterness and anxiety. Help us to let go of our resentment of our disappointment that life is not fair. And instead, in the midst of injustice and disappointment, help us to find joy. Help us to choose hope and trust. Amen. 65 degrees, this old man be driving with the top down, bruh. Have a good Tuesday.